Welcome. Today's presentation is on angle properties of a circle and the question we have here reads in the figure below O is the center of the circle given that PR is equal to QR and angle PQR is 69. So we have the diagram as shown. Then determine giving a reason the size of angle RQO. So in this question, before we determine angle RQO, it's important that we just determine all the possible angles we're able to see. So in the question, we are told that QR is equal to PR, and that therefore means that triangle RPQ is an isosceles triangle. Another thing we are told is that angle PQR is 69, so we have PQR, so the whole of this angle here we are told is 69. So if the whole of this is 69, we had also noted that triangle PQR is an isosceles triangle, and therefore the base angles are equal. So at P, we also have 69. From there, we can therefore say that the angle at this particular point, point R, is 42, so that angle sum of a triangle is 180, so 69 plus 69 plus 42 should be 180. Okay. Another thing is that we have got the chord PQ subtending an angle at the center. And we need also to recall that the angle subtended at the center by a chord should always be twice the angle subtended at the circumference by the same chord. So if chord PQ subtends an angle at the center, then the angle it subtends at the circumference should be half that at the center. So if at the circumference we have 42, then at the center we will have 84. Another thing again, we have OQ and OP, radius of the circle. It means that triangle PQO is an isosceles triangle. So if the angle at O is 84, then we also need to note that the base angles should be equal. So we have here 48 and here also 48. So that the sum of angles in a triangle should be 180. And the base angles for this isosceles triangle should also be equal. So from here, we also need to remember that the whole of this angle was 69 and here is already 48. So what is left here, that is what we need to determine now. Remember in the question we are told to get the size of angle RQO and the size of angle RQO, that is RQO, this angle here, is obtained by simply having the whole of this 69 minus 48. So we come and say angle RQO is equal to 69 minus 48 and that is 21 degrees. And the reason here being that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So we write that base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. And that is it for this question. And thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.